Hello. This is a Patriot. As you can see the front of this. A Patriot solar generator. And it's um, marked as Lionel. It's like Universal. Um, There's other people that make the same exact generator. And this is light bulb battery. He got a battery for it. I didn't, you know, make a video of it because it takes a lot of time and cursing. And I didn't want to put cursing on it. This is your battery in the diamond plate one. This battery is larger than the um, Patriot one that they have out now. Way larger. It's so much I compared it to the outside cast of the body. This is much larger and more powerful. As you can see in the back of this, I don't know if you can see that. It's a hole right there where you can um, plug it in, extend the batteries on this one. So I will try to fix this one up. And I didn't want to, you know, get in the hard details of it. But um, it does work. The battery doesn't hold a um, nice charge on it. But some people want to see what it looks like on the inside. And I can show you that this is a Patriot one. And it's a lot of work to take this battery out. It took a lot of time. It took two hours without damaging anything, components. As you can see, it was in the outside. Most of the damage was just sitting outside. Not in the rain, but being outside in a cold, damp environment. This is why you should not store these in the, um, you know, I just replace some of the fuses and stuff. You should not store these on the outside if you can help it. These need to be in a nice, warm environment, you know, out of the rain. Long periods of time, you can start seeing the bolts, you know, so, show signs of rust. We got a body down there because it was sitting on the ground. And that's the worst thing you can do, put it on the ground, not cover it up. If they had just kept it in the box to keep the critters out, Critters are all inside of this um, solar generator from sitting in the barn, well, garage, cross barn. But this is what this looked like. You can see all the critters down there. And this is your light bulb battery that people don't show on YouTube. So I'm going to be the first one to show you the YouTube battery made in China. It's an American made product, they say. But it is made in China. This battery, I have to try to take it apart later on I get more money. And this is a big investment to, to rebuild this over again. I paid next to nothing for it. I got a good deal out of it. But it's very expensive to replace the batteries in it. So I'm going to take that battery pack. You can watch them, other YouTubers take apart the battery. But you, what you don't see is them taking the, these expensive. This was seven thousand dollars for this at one time, eight thousand when it was brand new. This was the best of the best, and that's why I believe a lot of the components did not rust. The battery came from out of from China, but the assembly came in America. You know, they wasn't you know, you know, it was kind of nicely done. They took their time and put it, assemble it, but you know, who knows? But like I said, this works, you just need a battery. And the battery's expensive. You can see the wires coming out of it. I'm surprised only one connector wasn't connected as a ground on it. It uses two, but the certain one doesn't have a connector. So I take my wires up. You don't want to take do this, do not do this. Because you could cause the battery to explode and start a fire. So do not do this. What well, I did. And here goes a sensor wire that plugged up to the motherboard to control the fan to tell the fan to come on. And if it sees a certain amount of voltage, like these must be the reading, the battery voltage readers. If it doesn't see the right voltage, the fans won't come on to charge the um, unit. But, you know... Like I said, I try charging it manually. These won't only go up to 6 volts, 7 volts. It should be reading 13.8. It does charge. I 
check the voltage. It was 1485 coming out of the unit, charge, trying to charge the battery. From, from the battery sitting so long, not being charged, it, it, you know, you know, it didn't, it's not taking a charge anymore. So I'm going to have to take this battery pack and try to locate some batteries. I'm going to have to wait for a while and try to get some money together and um, rebuild this battery pack. I'm just showing you what's in a Patriot, you know, diamond plate. There you go. This is the top line one. And if you don't know, if you don't know how to keep things and you know retain them, it's, these people wasted their money on this product. It's a shame. It was dirty and left alone. Out in the, um, they didn't care for this. So I'm just showing you what it looks like. And as you can see, it's like a nice clean unit. And it was the start of the changeover right here. Mine has Patriot by itself. So that's the, the transition before when the company is changing over cans. Thank you for watching. God bless.